All right, so our math game is so awesome now, we are actually going to make some changes to it. So we're going to open it up in the app designer. Okay, so um, what I think I want to do is I want to put it in where you can do like an addition or a subtraction or a multiplication or a division kind of a thing. Um, so we kind of maybe have to reorganize a little bit of what we've done, but I think we can make it work. So um, let's do this. One. I'm going to pull in my radio button group. So remember the radio buttons are cool because you can only click one at a time. So if I run this and I go strippy doops, it only lets me click one. Okay, so that's kind of what I want. But I do want four eventually because they'll be add, multiply, subtract, and divide. Um, so I can just copy and paste. That's all I did there. So add, subtract, I can't spell <laughs> subtract. Um, multiply, multiply, and divide. Yay! Okay. So, um, pick your um, game. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, maybe instead of saying check your answer, I'll say, like, click when ready. So, basically, instead of having it just pop up at the beginning, um, I'm going to have it, like, um, be blank. So I'll say, um, instead of saying check your answer, it'll say um, click to play. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just going to see what happens. Okay, so um, right now we have this setup where it automatically creates the game um, as soon as we load it. So, and that was okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to move it. So I'm going to go to the callback of the startup function. And it's right here. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to cut and paste it into the button, I think. Oh, I see. This is the problem. Click to play. Okay. So this is going to be a potentially, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it back the way I had it then. Because I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to just put in a second button because I think that's just going to be easier. Um, and I'll say click to play. I'll just make a separate one. You'll see why. It, it's there's a way to do it. I'm just trying not to like overcomplicate the situation. So um, I'm gonna go back to this startup function, and now I'm gonna take all this out of the startup function and I'm gonna put it in the click to play button. So I'm gonna click on it here, and it's gonna take me right here. Maybe click to play, take me to the callback. Oh, there we go. And then I'm just gonna paste that there. So let's see if this works. Play and click to play. Now here's the question. Check your answer. Done. Yay. Okay. So that was easier than what I was going to do. Okay. So now if I do these, nothing changes, um, but I can keep playing, but it just never goes back to good job, kiddo. So, um, also I run into the problem where I could check my answer and I don't even have a problem there to check. So what I can do is I can start off with check your answer disabled. So if I come over here to the um, thingies, interactivity, scroll, oh, this thing, um, interactivity, droop doo doo Okay, it's gonna be visible, but I'm gonna disable it. Okay, so it's check your answer button and it's enable is off. So then whenever I go to kick, click, <laughs> click to play, I can say, well, once I quit, bleh, click to play, the app.checkyouranswer button dot enable is equal to on. Okay. And then I should be able to play the game. So whenever I run it now, see, I can't clicky clicky, but now I click to play and then I can check my answer. And I'm like, yay, I win. I'm kind of a genius. Okay. So we've got that working and I can play again, except maybe I should do something where, so like I can just, it just keeps saying good job. So maybe I'll kind of do a thing where I turn the different buttons off every time I click them. Maybe, I don't know, we're just gonna try. So check your answer, enable on, and then I'm gonna disable the one that I'm on. Click to play button, enable off. So I'm gonna turn it off. And then once I say good job, kiddo, then I'm gonna 
turn the other one back on. Check, uh, click the play button, enable, if this makes sense, on. Okay, now in theory, that's gonna turn that on and off and on and off and on and off. So let's see if that works. Um, click to play, I got a four, and I can keep clicking this. So maybe if I get it right, I'll turn it off. And then I can click to play, and then, yeah, that's what I need to do. Once I get it right, I need to turn it off. So app dot check your button text, check your button, no, check your answer button. There we go, enable, off. So I turn it off. And then maybe that'll work. See, we're just playing, we're just doing stuff, check your answer. It's not right, ooh, 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 wait, why did that turn back on? Because that's what I told it to do. I'm only gonna let it turn back on if I get the answer right. Okay, so turn the answer. Okay, you can get a new, so I'm gonna put a comment. Get a new problem if you got it right. There we go. Okay, so run and click to play. Check your answer, it's wrong. It's still wrong. 16, I got it right, I'm gonna play again and it still says good job, kiddo. Um, so maybe whenever I click to play, see, we're just, we're just messing around. So I'm going to set app.click to play. Oh, that was the, the thingy. App.click to play button. And is it text? I've already forgotten. I think it's text. And then we can make it say check your answer again. I don't know. Doop, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. Okay, 11. Check your answer. Good job. Oops, I did it to the wrong one. It's supposed to be this one. <laughs> Let's try this again. Click to play. The answer is 12. Good job, kiddo. Click to play again. Oh, look at this. Hot damn. This is amazing. I am kind of a genius when it comes to programming. Look at this. It's just going back and forth. Like, like nobody's business. Wait, why does this keep getting the same question? Oh, I just got lucky. Amazing. Okay. It's so relaxing whenever code works. Now, if you want, we could also set it up to where whenever we have a new problem, we set this to a blank um, just to give us, you know, a little something. Click to play. Check your answer. And what is that dude called there? This is the um, value, the I don't know, is it going to yell at me like it did in the other thing? App.answer.value. Oops. Value. If we change this to zero, well, can we just do it to blank? Maybe? Let's try it. Click to play. Oh, no, it has to be a double scalar. So I'd have to set it to zero. And then, which is kind of annoying. Check your answer. Seven, click to play. Okay, I mean, I could do that. Whatever makes you happy. Um, so I could leave it like that. Okay. I mean, or you could just leave it how it was before. But I think, I wish there was a way to like set it to nothing. Um, but maybe it doesn't want me to do that. So... Okay, so let's see. What's the next thing we can do? Well, clearly we have an add and subtract thingy and we're just adding. So this is our play button. So everything we have here is pretty standard, um, but this is the only thing that we have that is specific to the addition thingy. So um, what we can do is we can have it go look and see which one of these is selected. So this is the kick, kick sorry, pick your game button group. So if I just go app.pickyourgamebuttongroup, there are things like selected object, enable foreground color. Okay, so clearly I'm just going to do selected object. So selected object. Now, I'm not 100% sure what this is, if it's going to give me the word add or if it's going to give me something else. So I'm just going to not suppress it and then let it run to the command window and just see what I get. So right now it's on add. And over here it says value one text add. Okay, and then if I do this one, oops, I have to actually get it right. Um, now it's gonna say, 
value when text multiply. Okay, so I have to get the text. And notice it's still giving me, obviously, addition because I haven't told it to do anything else. So selected object dot. And I think I remember doing this before where if you hit dot, it doesn't automatically bring up text, probably because you're just overdoing it with the dot, the dot, the dot, the dot thing. So we're going to switch on what that dot is. So in the case that it says add, now, okay, this is a big deal. It's doing an exact match. So if you over here have add with a space after it, it's not going to match because it's an add with a space. So make sure you don't have any weird extra dots or spaces and that you've spelled subtract the same way both, side, both ways. Um, so in the case that it's add, oopsies. In the case that it's add, then obviously, obviously, I'm just going to keep what I've got here. Um, in the case that it's subtract, now I'm not going to like this, and I think I have another video on this elsewhere, but for your simplicity at the moment, I'm just going to take everything and um, just change all the pluses to minuses. And there's probably a more clever way to do this. I'm just, so we're also going to have a multiply and a divide. And then add. Multiply, divide. Okay, and you'll see the dumb answers here. Multiply and divide. Hold on, isn't there like a pretty division sign I can use? Well, let's see if this works, sweetheart, before we get super excited about other things. Okay. Add should still work. Seven. Yay! Okay. Subtract. Six minus three is three. Yay! Multiply. Six times seven is 42. Yay! Oh, let's make sure I can, it works if I get it wrong. Oh, wait, I have to play again. So, do, 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 do. Okay, so I have to get it right to move on. Yay! And then divide. One divided by three is, oh, this is not going to go well. And <laughs> it doesn't like it. Okay, so can I just put in one divided by three? No. Okay, so this is going to be a problem. Um, so we can potentially solve this by rounding. Um, but this is this is this is the problem. Um, it wouldn't be such a big deal um, for subtraction because we can type in negative numbers, but for division, it's a huge deal. So basically the idea is if I generate the numbers, three and six by default it's going to go three divided by six when really if you think about your math families if you have three and six your like uh related math problems would be three plus six equals nine but then nine minus three equals six right that's like whenever you learn math families that's what you're doing or three times Six equals 18, but then the division problem would actually be 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So let's just fix that right quick. So basically, instead of doing um, x minus y, we'll do x plus y. Oops, x plus my y minus i. I'm going to learn how to talk. Actually, to be consistent with this, I think I did x minus, I mean, x plus y minus x equals y and similarly x times y divided by x equals y and that way i'll always have integers and positive numbers and i'll actually be able to get right answers so add make sure it doesn't work for wrong answers but does for good answers subtract so 10 minus 9 is 1 and i forgot to check a wrong answer one. Is it going to keep giving me ones? Apparently. Give me something different. Okay, there. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Multiply already worked, but just to be sure. And then divide. 12 divided by 4 is, let's try something wrong. Yes, and so it's 3. Yay! Okay, now I did have a very quick question about finding um, what the symbols are. Um... So I can't remember which one makes the pretty division symbol. So um, let me just do this right quick. So for I go, no, we normally don't use I, but it'll be fine for the moment. I think it's higher up, but I'll just do a whole bunch of them. 
char i so i just want to display the char version of it this is going to go very badly let me just do this first okay so these are all the symbols so i'll do um uh, two string i equals oops char i so I can kind of see, oh goodness, spacey space. All right, so, oh, there's a little time sign. Oh, I can do that. So I could do 215 will give me a little time sign. So I could do uh, space, I'm gonna char 215, and then a space again. Would that give me a pretty multiplication sign? We're gonna see. Hot dog, I love it, okay. But I know there's a division sign somewhere. Um, none of those are divisions. All right, let's just keep going. There's division. I win. That was totally an accident. 247. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put in a space, char 247, and then put in another space just so it's kind of all pretty. And now I've got like all kinds of fancy stuff. Look at that. Aw, it's like I'm a grown up asking math questions. That's what grown-ups do, apparently. Yay! Okay. Well, this is pretty fantastic. Um, I'm sure there's more that we can do with this, but for the moment, I like this. This is this is some legit progress. So I'm gonna like, you know, like be super proud and go have a bag of Skittles and maybe a couple of hot pockets. Um, you can obviously play with these and um, make them bigger or however you want to do that. Uh, that would be really awesome. Okay. Awesome. Yay.